Because at first I was like, if it's an old lady just with her dog at my door hella late, yeah, it's weird, but like, I don't feel threatened. But you got a knife now. I low key could punch you. What's good y'all welcome back or welcome if you are new thank you for checking out the video today we are reacting to creepy doorbell camera footage and low-key it, it kind of is like the perfect time for me to react to some creepy shit like this because i don't know if y'all have seen the video kind of going around on the internet right now but there was this dude on someone's doorbell cam footage um the wife was home alone and basically the dude just comes up to the door rings the doorbell you know she doesn't answer it because she's by herself her husband is out i just rang your doorbell because i have a couple questions for you are you sure are you positive and the husband's watching from his phone and he's just like i just want to talk he's just sitting there talking to himself on the camera he's like i just want to talk who are you yeah hey, i just had a couple questions i just wanted to ask you about uh maybe sure. Yeah, can you hear me? Like, you know, answer the door. Like, I just want to talk to you, this, that, or whatever. And then the husband finally comes and talks on the ring doorbell. And he's like, you know, what are you doing? He was like, you know, I just want to talk to the woman that's inside the house. Like, I know she's in there. He was like, I just want to R-word her. I'm not going to say the word because YouTube guidelines, but I just want to R-word her and kill her. Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come on here because I'm going to her and kill her. I, I want to her and kill her because I have a knife. And I'm like, how did we go from from just I want to talk to all of this? Like, what are you what are you even at my door for? Why are you here? So that was just the whole footage. So now we got this to react to, but original video link will be down in the description. Let's get into it. In this first video, this house's ring doorbell captured a man walk up to the front door in the middle of the night. But rather than actually knocking on the door or ringing the doorbell, the man pretends to do so. At first it seems odd, until you realize what's actually going on. Near the left side of the screen, a car's headlights can be seen. It's clear, whoever is driving the vehicle is making this guy walk up and talk to the house owner for a seemingly sinister purpose as the guy obviously doesn't want to do it. I mean, so much so that he fakes knocking on the door and even fakes a conversation with the house owner, all the while making sure the driver can see him doing so. Yo, I wonder what type of situation this dude was in. Or maybe he on some, you never know these days. Sorry. Sorry. So odd. <laughs> From the fake conversation, it's clear the driver wants the man to look for someone named Matt. One comment guessed the man could have been being forced to rob the place, but didn't want to do it, making him fake the whole situation could and have claim been. no Matt lived there. But to this day, the real motives of the driver are still unclear. This footage features a random woman walking up to someone's front door. The woman clearly isn't acting normal, or at least until a car passes where she breaks character so as not to draw attention to herself. After I mean, it's still weird that you out hella late at night. Face right up to the camera. After watching the disturbing footage, the house owner would claim he had no idea who the woman was. All this just ends with drugs. Cause ain't no way, bro. No Stable normal human is doing this unless they the own something, bro. Early stages of a fire in a neighbor's property. As the video goes on, you can see as the fire gradually continues to grow. So much so that it eventually reaches the house with the doorbell camera. At the time of the fire, the house owner himself was asleep. Though he would be woken up by multiple notifications on his phone, claiming motion was detected by his doorbell camera. After reviewing the footage, the house owner would frantically run to get a fire extinguisher and desperately attempt That's to That's a big fire ass out. fire, bro. I don't think a fire extinguisher fan to do that. Shit. 
I really hope this nigga's house is good, bro. I don't think that's finna help, G. No cab. Yeah, you need to get out of there, dude. Yeah, bro. I really hope this man's house is good. It, but it don't look like it's gonna be. But after realizing it was too late, the house owner would escape yeah. through the house's back door. It's That's pretty good. safe to say that the motion detected notifications that woke up the house owner saved his life that night. This video captured a woman frantically knocking on this house's front door. As she continues to do so, she can be seen constantly looking behind her. And that's when you realize why. A man walks up to the woman and proceeds to grab her firmly, telling her to get into the car. All the while, the woman can be heard pleading for him to stop. Oh, shit. You gonna have to fight back. Can't be, can't be no, 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 no. You better start swinging. The man in the video was later identified to be 20 Victor flight. Kucic, and he would ultimately be charged with third degree felony kidnapping. Well, I'm glad they caught him. This That's ring good. doorbell starts off showing the, the house owner simply you doing her fight laundry. Back. Though, before she can even enter the laundry room, she can be seen pausing. And the audio from the clip makes it clear as to why. What the fuck? A voice can be heard desperately pleading for help, though it's unclear as to where the voice is coming from. Are we not gonna try and find out? And worried it could have been someone hiding around her property, the woman would end up calling the police. I looked around, I didn't see anybody out on the road or any cars or anything. So I went back to my ring video to make sure I wasn't just I need to get the I can hear somebody saying something, but I can't. Yeah, like, that's somebody saying help. The police would search the whole property, but find absolutely nothing. And to this bro, day, what? it's still unclear whose voice was talking. Or nah, was talking. bro. A woman living in an apartment complex had reported that she had been being stalked for months. Police would open an investigation, though there wasn't really too much they had to go off of. But that was until the woman's ring doorbell caught the man approach the front door on a bike wearing a mask. People are so he bold. He apologized for stalking the woman, though what he said next is pretty disturbing. I'm sorry. He said some wild shit. Watch. Uh, looked in one day and saw you. Oh God, I can't stop. The man claimed he couldn't stop, which basically confirms this man is not mentally well. Yeah, to not the point at all. Where, unfortunately, he can't help himself. To this day, the woman still reports seeing the man at her apartment. This doorbell camera How do footage get seems to have like captured that? an almost transparent-looking like figure that's kinda, walking that's across really the house owner's property in the middle of the night. The figure looks to have no face and seems to slowly become less visible as it continues to move. The audio from the video reveals the noise of very faint footsteps. Man, this camera is a fucking potato. God damn. After reviewing the footage and examining around the property, the house owner found nothing out of the ordinary, and it's still unclear what exactly was caught on video that night. The owner of this house would wake up to a notification on his phone telling him motion was detected at his front door. And after reviewing the footage, this is what he found. There was an old woman with a knife just standing what? at his front door, constantly shifting her body weight from side to side. Bro, the what? Woman can be seen awkwardly holding and looking at the knife, as well as constantly glancing all around her. See, at first I thought she had a leash in her hand, but then I was gonna say, is it a knife? But I wasn't really sure. Why do you, why? Are you? Drugs. 
Because at first I was like, if it's an old lady just with her dog at my door hella late, yeah, it's weird, but like, I don't feel threatened. But you got a knife now. I low key could punch After you. a few more seconds, the woman finally attempts to ring the doorbell, but seemingly can't bring herself to do it for whatever reason. Go home. Where do these people go after they get caught doing some shit like this, bro? And then they're all over the internet. Like, I know they have to see it somewhere, right? Or at some point in their life, maybe? And after two minutes of footage, it cuts off. It's still unclear who this woman was, or what caused her to walk up to a stranger's front door wielding a knife. After hearing his doorbell go off, this San Diego house owner would look at his doorbell camera through his phone, and the camera revealed a supposed door-to-door -door salesman waiting outside. The house owner decided to confront the man with the doorbell speaker, and that's when the salesman claimed he was looking for the Robinsons residence at 712, which was not the house he was at. <clears throat> After being informed of this, the salesman would politely apologize for the mix-up. Is this um, the Robinsons residence at 712? Uh, now you're at the wrong house. This is 721. Oh, I apologize for that. Suspicious of the encounter, okay. so the house owner would send the footage to the local police department, who, disturbingly, confirmed that this exact man was suspected of breaking into at least 19 homes and impersonating a salesman to do so. Oh, wow. The man has yet to be caught by police. Damn, he's still on the run? Likely taking place during the whole killer clown craze of 2016, this yeah. ring doorbell caught the exact moment someone dressed in a clown costume walked up to its front door. The person can be seen tilting their head and slowly walking up to the door, almost the whole time staring directly into the camera. While it's most likely just someone trying to scare people, mm -hmm. there's a small chance something a lot more sinister is going on here. And when all of this shit was going down, I was like, there is no reason for motherfuckers to just be going around dressing in clown costumes unless it's some type of wild promotion stunt. And then and guess what? A couple months later, it got announced. So I was just like, yeah, people was just doing this just to kind of promote the movie and get it hype around Halloween. To this I'm day, just it's still unclear whether the house owner experienced anything further regarding the situation. And this is why having cameras on the outside of your house is always necessary. Because honestly, I could have some shit on here too. I got footage from like a couple months ago. Motherfuckers was creeping in my backyard and shit, being some weirdos. And then we had to call the cops. And then they just ran off. Like they just left and never came back. It was just some weird person in a ski mask in my backyard late at night messing with the back doors luckily we have uh uh what is it security doors and shit so we ain't even have to worry about it but it's just like bro what type of shit do you have to be on to like even attempt some shit like that like they could possibly lose their life for trying to do some dumb shit because you don't even know who's living in the house so why even risk that it doesn't even make sense but let me know what y'all favorite one was out of this little compilation like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all next one i love y'all peace I'ma pull up on his avenue, rock, rock, rock. Shit a few times, yeah, that it Live life ain't got my hands, no tattoos. Used to do zans in the back of the classroom. Now I'm too rich off the price from the radical. That shotgun to tear him in half like a decimal. 40